from the nomadic islands down to the British, a time span over 3,000 years. Invaders have beaten a path eastward in search of the fabled wealth of India. Among the many historical monuments and archaeological remains in Delhi, the most notable, both in terms of antiquity and artistic design, is the Kutub Complex, a name given to the group of monuments embracing the Kuwait ul Islam Mosque of Kutub Uddin Aibak and lofty Kutub Minar which stands out as a landmark for miles around. Kutub Minar is one of the finest monuments of India as well as also in the world. It is one of the wonders of the world. It was built by Kutub Uddin Aibak in 1200 AD. He built the first story. The next three stories was built by Ilkut Mis and it was completed by year 1368. The last and the fifth story was built by Firosa Tughlaq. The first three stories is made up of red sandstone. The last two stories are made up of uh, marble and sandstone. Kutta Minar height is 73 meters. It has a basement. The basement diameter is 15 meters. The topmost diameter is 2.5 meters. It has five stories. Each storage has beautiful balcony. Kutubuddin Aibak is the founder of Delhi Sultanate in around 1199 AD. He had built the Kutub Minar. At the base of this Kutub Minar is the mosque called as Kuwait Ul Islam Mosque. This mosque is the first mosque to be built in India. In 1311 AD, Alauddin Khilji, to commemorate his victory of Deccan, planned to build another minar to be double in diameter and height of Kutub Minar. Alauddin Khilji died soon after it was begun and thus it was left incomplete. Muhammad, the Sultan of Mountain Kingdom of Gaur in modern Afghanistan led a fierce force down into the fertile plains of northern India. Muhammad Ghori retired to his homeland soon after the battle, leaving the newly overrun land in the hands of Kutub Budin Aibak, his favorite slave from the Turkestan who was also his army commander. 